Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of Create and Process. And in today's video, we'll be designing this logo. If you look at this logo, this logo is comprised of a 3D cube where small pieces of squares has been placed on the top face as well as on the left-sided face of the cube and small and each face is consisting of four small squares and from the top one of the pieces has been pushed downward and from the left one of the pieces has been pushed backward and this has created a illusion of depth to the logo so let's create this logo so to create the logo we'll first create the square of, of four squ small square pieces so to create that we'll select the rectangle tool and left click your mouse button here keep the width and height 100 by 100 make that constant and click OK and after that next thing is duplicate this and paste it in the front to do that control C copy control F to paste it in the front and fill it with stroke color so give it a stroke color black and remove the fill color now in the stroke with the up and down arrow keys you can increase or decrease the thickness of the stroke let's keep this like this and after that we select the line segment tool and draw a vertical as well as horizontal line passing through the center so just draw it out from one corner to another and from top to bottom now select all the strokes and the line segments this 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 with shift selecting shift clicking everything will be selected convert this into object to do that we'll go to object expand and it will expand the uh, strokes into object form and later go to pathfinder and it will you'll find that in windows pathfinder and just combine it after that select everything subtract the that portion which we have made before and you got a square with sm four small square comprising now fill it with this color with the eye picker tool and duplicate one more time and fill it with this color now the next step is to make convert this objects into symbol form and to make it a symbol we'll first open the symbol palette go to windows symbol and you got your symbol box here you can put this dragon in and let's delete it which I have made earlier I'll just delete it out now to create the object into symbol form we'll just select it dragon inside there give it a name like I'll keep let's give this one number one shape and you'll find that it has been placed here now select this one and place it inside and give it number two and click OK now once the symbol has been formed you can delete the objects now the next step is to create a cube so to create a cube select the rectangle tool left click your mouse button and keep it 100 by 100 go to effect 3d extrude and bevel here you can create 3d object um, using this op option so preview it give it some thickness 100 and rotate the angles and make sure that these two lines are aligned the top and the bottom one and do it adjust it until it's aligned now till the angle and make sure that these two lines should be perpendicular to the uh, should be straight that is perpendicular so just make it perpendicular do it adjust it keep this minus uh, maybe 45 so once you have done that uh, your 3d cube has been formed to edit this we need to open one more option here appearance here you get the option 3d and extra bevel just click in that preview it now we will put the uh, pieces that symbols on this face as well as on this face to do that go to map art first make it invisible now you can see that the f this top face is selected so here we'll put this small piece place it properly scale it down if it's very huge I think this good now go to another face 
this is bottom this is backward and we need this face over here place this small squares place it properly and uh, you can scale it up or down using uh, uh, t according to your preference now you can uh, go backward also to edit the previous one if it's not you can just make it a little bit downward and bring it near okay once you have done that you can click OK and if you it's okay your angle is good you can just keep it or you can just move a little bit like this if you need to do some correction just make sure their angles is perpendicular and click OK so you got your shape now we need to create this depth of illusion and to create that we'll just uh, convert these uh, symbols this whole composition into object form to do that we go to object expand appearance and ungroup it all two three times select this object release clipping mask and delete the clipping mask option and that's the same way release clipping mask and delete the clipping mask piece now ungroup this and ungroup this so all the small pieces are now separate now select this one and push it downward with the down arrow keys and place it parallel to this now select this one and push it on the right hand side so just place it push it and bring it upward until it's this much so you can push it down a little bit so we have uh, created the depth of illusion and almost everything is done you can just uh, scale it up a little bit and overall you have created a 3d piece cubic piece now we need the text so we select the text option right c u b i c cubic you can scale it up yeah uh, change the text desired text you need we'll find that text in the uh, get text palette here so just uh, we can even type the text yes, ball I think this is the correct one and you got it now to fill it with uh, we need to fill the color just select the color and you can uh, give some spacing between the two text two alphabets to do that go to character and here give some distance between them scale it down and place it on the correct place scale it down if it's huge and we have finished our text so this is how we have created this logo very unique looking logo a small uh, presence of depthness illusion using the basic tools which we have used earlier that is 3d extreme bevel and we have used some symbols and uh, applied it in a very unique manner and created this two shaded color logo which is very professional hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing press the subscribe button thank you